Hello, Klaus here and welcome back to yet a, another video here at the channel. It's all over the social medias, artificial intelligence or AI, computer generated, clever engineering, doing artwork and stuff like that. It's pretty clever. However, artificial intelligence are also available in DaVinci Resolve. It's actually been there for quite a while. And in this video, we're going to look at some of the tools that are using artificial intelligence inside of DaVinci Resolve. 18. And DaVinci Resolve is using its neural engine to do different tasks. So we're going to have a look at what exactly the tools are and what they are doing. So let's just jump into DaVinci Resolve and let's get uh, started to look at the intelligence of the neural engine. Let's get right to it. Okay, so let's get right to it. So in DaVinci Resolve, we have one of my favorite tools. If you're using old videos and you need to cut those up pretty fast, you can use the scene cut detection. And one of the new things in DaVinci Resolve 18 is actually you can use the scene cut detection from inside a timeline. And you do that by selecting this tutorial I did here, uh, you know, and maybe I want to cut this up. So I'll select that and I'll go up to my clip here and I'll go into timeline. And in the timeline, I have my scene cut detection right here. I'm just going to click that and it's going to take that exact clip, going to think about my scene cut detection and it's going to cut this up into pieces, which I think is quite handy. It's now taking my tutorial and it cut it up to different pieces. And that is pretty helpful if you want to cut in videos or taking pieces of videos into new videos. Pretty awesome tool. The next tool is, of course, the Magic Mask. And you'll find the Magic Mask under the color page. And we're going to take, let's do a little effect here. We're going to take this clip here of this dude here. I'm going to push Alt and drag to do a copy. And I'll take the bottom clip and I'm just going to push D for deselect. And then I'll go into the color page. And right here we have the Magic Mask. And it's a pretty powerful tool. We can do either objects or persons. In this case, I think we're just going to do him as a object. We're just going to do like a quick drawing on him. Click on this icon here so we can see what we selected. And then we're just going to pretty fast track forward and backwards by pushing here. And now DaVinci Resolve will do its thing and uh, kind of track this dude forward and backwards and figuring out if um, He's masked out pretty well, actually. And also, if you wanted to take out elements, you would just click on the minus here and adjust that on the clip as well. So the cool thing about the Magic Mask is it's kind of a rotoscope tool. So now we have rotoscoped our dude out here. And I'll go back to the edit page, take my bottom clip, push D, and I'm just going to give this a different color so it's easier to figure out what is what. And then I'll go into the color and uh, taking the other clip here. And let's say I'm just going to take out all of the colors for this clip here. Then I'll go to this clip where I have my magic mask. I'm going to right click and I'm going to add an alpha out and I'm going to connect my alpha out to the blue dot here. And when we've done that, we'll see right here. Now we have a, we can do stuff like this pretty fast and pretty easy using this one amazing tool. So for the next, we are going to take the, this clip right here. Um, and, and we're going to go into the color. This is also a pretty new tool in DaVinci Resolve. And we'll go up to our effects library and we're going to search for depth. Depth map. And we're going to add that into our thing here and the basic idea here is that we could go into our just map levels and the far limit being the background we want to keep that like black and for instance the near limit we want to keep that white and then we could of course go in and isolate stuff as well so let's do that let's keep it something like like that here. So this should be the main attention. And, and actually to use this to anything, I'm going to take off my preview here. And then I'm just going to right click. I'm going to add in a note. In this case, I'm just going to put in a corrector and I'm going to add that into our 
workflow here and I'm going to connect the mask output to the blue one here and then if I go over here I should be able to either take the saturation out of the frame here and we, you can see I'm doing that with the foreground person here or in this case we could also pull up the light on him as we're doing right here or put the mid-tones up so something like that because he's a little bit in the dark so we can also drag up the shadows something like that not too much of course so that's one way of using the depth map which is cool i did do a more detailed tutorial so check that out down in the description below or up in the top corner so for the next AI thing in DaVinci Resolve, we're going to have a look at the surface tracker. So we can do this inside of the color page as well. And in this case, we are just going to search for surface. And we have our surface tracker here, and we're going to add that into the composition as well. The first thing we need to do is we need to tell Resolve what we actually want to track. In this case, we are going to put in a logo on this guy's shirt. And we do that by going into bounce here and we are zooming in a little bit and we're going to just very quickly do a mask around the pocket here, something like that. And for the sake of this tutorial, we are simply just going to do this very fast. We're going to go to the tracker and I'm going to track forward and backwards just like that pretty fast here. And as you see, the mess is all of these lines you have right here, and you can add more in, but again, I did do a tutorial on the surface tracker, so check the full tutorial out if you want to. In this case, I'm just going to take this logo here, and I'm going to add that, the green, into the blue here. Now it's right there. And with the surface tracker selected, I'll go to Resolve, and then I can go into the overlay placement, I can change this into canvas sliders or whatever. I think for this, I'll change it to sliders. And in here, I can then go into the position and I can zoom this down a little bit, something like that. And then I can go into composition. And here I can change the composite mode. In this case, I'm just going to go into the opacity. I'm going to drag that down a little bit and now have put in a logo on this dude's shirt. And as you see, it's a Pretty darn good track, not bad at all. So for the next artificial intelligence tool in DaVinci Resolve, we are going to take this clip here. And this is one of my favorite tools. It is a couple of years old and it has been refined a couple of times, but we'll go into the color and up here, we are going to search for the face refinement. Face refinement tool we have right here. I'm just going to add that right on the clip here. And I'm just going to analyze my clip here. And DaVinci just kind of attract the face of this girl here. And the cool thing about this is now I'm going to take off the overlay and we have the skin mask here, but this is going to give us a insane amount of correction to this girl's uh, appearance. So we have a beauty mode here on automatic. We can smoothen out the skin or the other way. You wouldn't do that with a female. So we could do that. We could scale the beauty. Also, we have some color grading. We can go in and change the contrast. We can change the mid-tones. We can do a little color boost if we want to. A million things to change. Uh, we can do the eye retouching. We can sharpen the eyes, as you see right here. We can brighten the eyes. We can give a bit of eye light. And, you know, if we have some bags under the eye, we can remove those. Stuff like that. We can retouch the lips, the hue, the lips. We can, I mean, it is a super powerful tool where we can do some pretty awesome, cool things. It's a fun tool to play around with. So the last thing in the department of clever intelligence is actually a new thing it's from the latest update of davinci resolve so if we take the audio we go into 
audio. It's two new tools. It is the dialogue leveler, which is kind of cool. You can put the dialogue into the right levels if you have different sound inputs, which is cool. But my favorite one is the voice isolation tool. And I did do a totally video on that. You can test that out, but I'll just show you again pretty fast. Take a listen to this. This is without anything on. So another general problem would be the sound of... And we're just going to add in the tool. And traffic and stuff like that. And you can hear how it's doing with that here. Just okay, so this was a look at some of the AI inside of DaVinci Resolve 18. I do hope you found this little video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.